This is like the thought of the fourth time that I've started this video this week, but by the end of the day, lost my enthusiasm, but now it's Friday and I'm gonna finish it. Had to come into town, pick up my check, but also I'm picking up some gear because my friend Cody is gonna do that whole nomad life for like three months. So he's getting rid of some stuff and I love free stuff. Amigo. Okay, it's now raining. I'm gonna put this away to get the gear. Uh. It was sunny like 10 minutes ago. Literally 10 minutes ago. Now as we progress into the summer months and days have gotten longer and brighter, I have gotten a lot of questions about how to get good video outdoors because when it's super bright out we only have two exposure settings that allow us to darken up our image so that it's not blown out but unfortunately both of those affect our footage in different ways which takes away from the cinematic quality of our vlog but unfortunately both of those affect our footage in different ways with shutter speed you get a really jittery image you don't have any sort of motion blur which is something we're used to seeing in our day-to-day -day life when you're doing a vlog, you want it to look natural. You want it to look how the eye sees, and the eye sees motion blur. But if you raise your shutter to adjust your exposure, then you're not going to get the motion blur that looks natural. The other one that we have is aperture. But the problem with closing down your aperture is that you don't get any sort of shallow depth of field. If you look at this video, this is at f16, and it is a really small aperture, meaning you have a very deep depth of field. Whereas if you look at this, this is with the same kit lens, but at f3.5. And in this video, we're talking about how to get that. And that is ND filters. And talking to people, I have been surprised at how few people are using neutral density filters. And what is a neutral density filter? Well, scientifically, it's two polarizing lenses that polarize against each other, which darkens your image. Simplest explanation, it's sunglasses for your camera. It lowers the exposure of your image so that you don't have to use your settings to darken your image. You are able to use your settings to achieve the look and the feel in your videos that you want to feel. If you want a deep depth of field, that's totally fine. But if you're like a lot of us, you wanna get a bit of a shallow depth of field, separate yourself from the background, and you also want to have smooth motion blur so your footage is not distracting from your story. This one is a variable neutral density filter which changes the exposure of your image in increments. And interestingly enough, this is only a $13 neutral density filter, linked down below by the way. And it has worked very well. I have shot over a hundred videos using this ND filter. Now, if you get expensive ND filters, you want to get one that's the size of your largest lens and then get step down rings. But if you go with the budget ND filters, then it might be a good idea to pick some for the main lenses that you're going to be using it for. Because like this 49 millimeter filter, I use it with my EF 50 millimeter F1.8 and my Tamron 28mm f2.8 because those are all 49mm filter threads. Whatever ND filter fits your budget, definitely get one. Now I'm sorry that this video is not as detailed as I like to make my videos. I, like the rest of the world, have had a lot going on recently and have not been able to be as consistent and not been able to put as much effort into my videos as I would like to. But that is going to change. I'm going to re ramp up this content and start making videos that I can be proud of and that will hopefully help you. And even though this video wasn't up to snuff production wise, I wanted to get this video made because this is something that is so important. And I think that this video can help a lot of people. And if my pride has to take a whack, whatever. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a like, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. We are only getting started. We are going to hit it hard in the rest of 2020, and I hope you stick around for the ride. See y'all in the next one.